Hello children, how are you? I hope you all are good and safe at home. Yes, I think enjoyed your holidays. Yes, but now it's time to study. We have come up with online classes for you. So you'll be studying with us now and we are with you to make you study. So I'm your EVS teacher, myself Bharti. Okay, I'm going to teach you EVS. Now we are going to start with the lesson, our body. Before starting the lesson, in the last year, in the first standard, what all you studied in EVS about your body? Yes, you studied parts of your bodies, right? What are those? You can see the chart, our body. Like you studied head, ear, hairs, nose. Yes, no? Body parts. You can see the body parts from head to toe. Let's read once. You just see the body parts once. And in this lesson, in our body, we are not studying these parts. We are something. We are studying something different. I'll let you know. First, you see the chart. Head, hair, ear, forehead, nose, lips, chin, face, neck, shoulder, chest, arm, stomach, hand, thigh, knee, navel, shoulder, nipple, finger, chain, calf, ankle, heel, foot, toe. Right? You studied the past parts of the body. But now, we are studying the parts, but not the outer parts. The organs which are inside our body, you know, that we are studying in this lesson. So, let us begin with the lesson. Now, in this lesson, we are studying about the organs which are inside our body. Okay. So, the organs which are present inside our body are called as internal organs. And the organs which are outside our body, we can touch those organs. Those organs are called as external organs. Now, let me ask you some questions. Okay. You, uh, for better understanding, you also open your textbook with you. With the video, you keep your textbook beside you so that you can understand better. So, in the textbook they have given, getting started there, write a tick mark there based on whether you can see a body parts from outside or not. See, they have given some body parts. Now, you have to say whether you can touch it or not. Now, first one, nose. Can you touch your nose? Can you touch? Yes, you can touch your nose. Yes, we can see. We can see our nose. Just put a tick mark. It is there, no? Can see. Cannot see. So, nose. We can see. So, just put a tick mark there. Now, eyes. Yes, we can see our eyes. Put a tick mark. Heart. Can we touch our heart? No, we cannot. So, we cannot see our heart from outside. Next one is ears. Yes, you can see your ears and you can touch your ears, right? So, we can see. Put a tick mark for can see. And brain. Can you touch your brain? No, we can touch your head, but we cannot touch the brain. So, we cannot see also. So, tick mark for cannot see. Now, before starting with the internal organs, let me revise sense organs. How many sense organs are there? How many sense organs are there? There are five sense organs. Right? Eyes, ears, nose, skin, tongue. Yes? Which are our sense organs? Eyes, Ears, nose, skin, tongue. 
so what are the uses why these are called as sense organs these are the special organs in our body what we do with our eyes we see with our eyes ears we listen with our ears yes nose what is the use of nose we smell with our nose right what is the use of skin skin we feel with our skin yes no if something is hot cold you can feel with the skin and tongue we can we taste with our tongue we taste with our tongue so these are the organs we can touch yes we can see sense organs are also external organs now we'll start with the internal organs what are internal organs internal organs are the organs which are present inside our body yes some of our internal organs are brain lungs heart kidneys stomach okay let us study these internal organs one by one first one is brain where is your brain children it is inside our head right brain is inside our head now what is the work of the brain what it will do how it is helping us do you know no now see our brain is the main part main organ which controls all other body organs all the body parts are connected to the brain see what brain will do brain will send message to the other body body parts and it receives the messages how how it is ma'am what brain is mobile or what to send messages and all what you are saying ma'am you are thinking like that yes brain is is working like a machine it it is connected to all body parts how see just imagine you are sitting in a hall and you are watching tv okay what happens your mother is cooking inside the kitchen now you feel the smell okay what you'll do oh you'll think no when you get the smell you'll think oh mama is preparing something special i'm getting smell yes you'll go to the kitchen what mama is preparing to see you'll go to kitchen no why the smell you got the smell so you are going to kitchen so the nose sent message to the brain that mama is cooking something so that you responded to that message right you are going to the kitchen you told your legs the brain sent message to the leg and now you are walking towards the kitchen to ask what you are cooking mama yes no now when you go to the kitchen you are standing and seeing what mama is doing what she is preparing special yes what happens suddenly you will touch the hot vessel there what happens when you touch it suddenly you will take back your hand right when it is hot will you keep it no no you will take back your hand why so it is hot why can't you keep the hand there you can feel it it is hot it will harm our skin yes no so you'll take back your hand so how how you responded the message when you touch the hot vessel your hand sent message to your brain saying that it is hot don't touch that it will harm you so suddenly you took back your hand so like this way our brain is working we it is controlling all our body parts so it is very important to keep our brain healthy right what we should do what are the safety measures you can take 
or what are the exercises you can do to keep your uh, brain healthy so what you should do whenever you are going out on a bike or a bicycle you should wear helmet and you should do different activities see when you do the same activity whole day you'll get bored isn't it and you'll be like oh boring and you'll be feeling unhappy right if you sit and watch tv whole day will you be happy no isn't it so you should keep on doing the other things also you have to like you have to follow time table you are doing certain activity for one or two hour means you should take rest if you are re reading you should change you should read story books you should watch tv you should play outside you should study so that you should keep on changing the activity so that your mind will be active it will be how much it will work no that much you'll be active so you have to do exercise by doing the different activities your mind can be healthy if you sit in a one place if you do the same things repeatedly the mind may struck and you you may feel unhappy so you should keep on doing the different activities to keep your mind active so let us be active we'll see the lesson so let me read the brain part for you just keep the finger on the words what i am reading okay brain the brain controls each and every action we perform it also help us to think and memorize see what all you'll read you'll remember right what is the see who is remembering for us the brain it is only remembering it is keeping all the things what all we see what all we listen that brain is helping us to think and memorize so the brain is present inside our head it receives messages from different parts of our body it then sends signals to the other parts of our body in response to that message i told you no just you went to the kitchen right you remember those things now to look after our brain we should wear helmets when riding a bike or a cycle and exercise our brain daily by learning new things and by playing indoor games like ludo and chess see if you are playing indoor games you play ludo and chess these are like mind games right you have to think when you are playing see when you are playing outdoor games there is a difference when you are playing cricket when the ball comes you'll think oh you'll kick so when you are playing the indoor games like chess and ludo you have to think what happens so these are the activity the good activity for brain so uh, play the indoor games also and get enough sleep see this point is little important if you don't sleep early and if you don't sleep enough your mind will be like damn you may feel sleepy see while studying you will feel sleepy right why while watching tv will you feel sleepy no isn't it you are so interested in doing that and sometimes you get sleep while watching tv also because your mind will be see if you are doing the things in a regular form if you are doing the same things it will be like boring so when you get enough sleep your mind will be active yeah it is ready to take all the things what all you'll be doing no it it is ready to take now if you are not having enough sleep means the brain may be become weak and it is not active so you should get enough sleep if you sleep early you'll get up early and your mind will be active so don't play the mobile very much and don't sit in front of the tv much yes we are done with the brain now you know what brain does and the second organ we are studying is lungs where are the lungs i think you don't know about the lungs right where are your lungs lungs are inside our chest and see before uh, saying about the lungs let me ask you a question what are you doing now what are you doing here yeah, you are sitting and watching the video right okay when you will be sitting quiet 
nothing doing you are quiet what you will be doing you keep on going while you are sleeping also you will be doing that what is that you are continuously doing that what is that is it is breathing we are breathing continuously right we don't know we are not aware about that but we are breathing continuously yes no we are taking the air in and we are leaving the air out yes no that is called breathing now the lungs help us in breathing we have two lungs and they are covered by a rib cage yes what is rib cage it is a bone coverage like it is a cage have you seen the bird cage like that for the lungs we have rib cage you can see the picture in the textbook also there you have a picture of lungs see you can see here we have two lungs concentrate only on the this picture okay you we have two lungs 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 are very soft so it is covered by the rib cage you can see the rib cage here this is the rib cage it is of bone these are the strong bones in that lungs are covered and protected because the lungs are very soft the lungs are covered in the protected in the rib cage so how does the lungs help us in breathing what it will do see when we take air through the nose we are taking inside the nose air now the lungs is taking when we breathe in the lungs are taking in the air and when we breathe out lungs pushes out the air it is helping in the breathing you can see the pitch. now you know where are your lungs are right lungs are inside our chest and they are protected by the rib cage now what is the work of the lungs lungs are helping us in breathing how by when we breathe in they'll take the air in when we breathe out they'll push out the air yes it helps in breathing now let me read the lungs for you just keep the finger to get the words our lungs play an important role in breathing we have two lungs in our body they present inside our chest protected by the rib cage now you know what is rib cage right when we breathe in the lungs take in air when we breathe out the lungs push out air that is only breathing right when we take in air and we leave out the air that process is called as breathing the lungs are helping us in breathing we should exercise regularly to take care of our lungs see what we should do to keep our uh, lungs healthy we should exercise regularly and you have to open the windows and the doors of your home to get the fresh air yes the good homes will be having the ventilation why to get the fresh air see when you go for walking in the morning you will get fresh air why the we are going to walk in the morning itself because that time vehicles will be less okay from the vehicles the air is getting polluted in the morning the number of vehicles will be less so it will be cool that time will be getting fresh air so getting fresh air doing exercise going for a walk can keep our lungs healthy and our next internal organ is heart we'll see what the heart do for us and where is your heart heart yes do you know yes you know it's inside where are the lungs inside of it yes we our heart is inside of a chest and lungs also there how it is ma'am all are together or what yes our heart is in between the lungs little towards the left side it is in between the lungs and slightly towards the left side and the heart is of our size of our fist what is fist when you close all the fingers together this is called as fist and our hearts are of size of our fist 
when you close all the fingers together this is called as fist and our heart will be of the size of our fist so how much is your heart you can show like this yes now what the heart does what is the work of the heart heart pumps the blood to all parts of the body see when you get hurt you will get blood right when you get hurt when you fall off you will get the blood right you will get hurt and it is pain okay that there you will get the blood blood see our body is full of blood and muscles yes when you fall you will get blood how it is there ma'am full body is having blood uh, how yes all full body is with uh, all the muscles and the blood how it the organ which is sending blood to all the parts is heart heart is pumping the blood to all the parts and it is reaching all the nutrients and oxygen to all other parts see when we eat something it will go to the stomach okay when it is digested the nutrients is mixed with the blood so all the nutrients is going to all the parts of the body through the heart heart is pumping the blood so the blood is going to all the parts with the nutrients and the oxygen when we take in see lungs are helping in a breathing when we take in air the oxygen is going inside and oxygen is mixing up with the blood so heart is pumping the blood oxygen nutrients are going to all parts of the body through the blood with the help of heart okay so that is the work of the heart it pumps the blood so that all nutrients and oxygens are reaching all parts of the body now let me read the heart for you the heart is about the size of your closed fist see closed fist it is placed between the lungs i i told you heart is between the lungs a little towards the left side of our body the heart pumps the blood oxygen and other nutrients to every part of the body we should exercise daily and eat balanced diet to keep our heart healthy see to keep our body healthy we should exercise we should eat a balanced diet we should eat a healthy food to keep our heart healthy now practice time one question is there see there tick the organ that helps us to think and memorize and you have options also i think you not need options now what the organ which which is the organ which helps in think and memorize that is brain okay children now you know about heart i think you heard about heart but now you know what the heart does is okay now the next internal organ is kidneys kidneys have you heard the name of kidney do you know what are kidneys no if you don't know also now we'll see first we'll see the picture these are our kidneys we have two kidneys in our body and what kidneys will do kidney will filter the blood will remove the waste from the blood see the internal organs are connected yes it working like a machine one organ does one work and other organ is doing other work but the total work is same now how it is connected i'll tell you see what all you eat no food it is going in the stomach and it is getting digested now the what we food what all we are eating it is getting digested and the nutrients and the oxygen what all we get it is mixed up with the blood now what heart is doing heart is pumping the blood and sending all the nutrients to all the parts so nutrients is also mixing with the uh, blood and the waste whatever what all we eat it is getting digested and mixing up so if not only the nutrients are mixed up with the blood there are some waste also the so what kidneys will do kidneys will absorb the waste from the blood and it is sending out of our body through the urine so what all we eat it is digested 
and the nutrients are absorbed by the heart and the blood that blood is going to all parts now the kidneys are removing the waste which all nutrients we want the body is absorbing and which we do want that is absorbed by the kidney and it is sending out of our body to the urine so that is the main work of the kidneys now what we should do to keep our kidneys healthy we should drink more water near to 6 to 8 glasses of water we should drink and more liquids liquids in the sense juices water like that liquid means which we can drink those type of food we call liquids so we should drink 6 to 8 glasses of water daily for you it is and see let me read the kidneys for you keep the finger we have two kidneys in our body they look like kidney beans yes no they look like beans yes now kidneys are present just below the rib cage i told you which are inside the rib cage which are inside the rib cage lungs yes between the lungs there is a heart now below the rib cage those uh, here are kidneys kidneys filter out the waste from the blood this waste passes out of our body in the form of urine we should drink at least 6 to 8 glasses of water or other liquids other liquids means juices or which in the form of liquid like which we can drink in a day to keep our kidneys healthy so you should drink more water to keep our kidneys healthy and the next internal organ is stomach the main thing yes no these all internal organs and their work is connected to the stomach yes no what all we eat it is directly going to the stomach stomach is like a bag it is storing all the food what we eat right yes our stomach is like a bag yes what all we eat it directly goes to the stomach this is the stomach this is the stomach see what all we eat from the mouth it is directly going to the stomach what stomach will do stomach will break the food into a smaller pieces it crushes the food and it churns it it churns it means churns meaning is it make the food move further it will break it down and it will move the food to the further part now what is the main use main work of the stomach is it is storing the food it is taking the food what all we eat and it is like a bag you can see yes the main work is it is taking the food and it is breaking down the food crushing and churning the food that we eat so what are the things we should do to keep our stomach healthy we should eat healthy food yes we if you eat outside food or the junk food it will be difficult for our stomach so it may get affected you may fall sick so before eating food you wash your hand with the soap then you eat and don't eat the outside food roadside food and don't eat don't eat junk foods also it affects the stomach so you may fall sick so what are the things we should do you should eat healthy food and you should wash your hand and you should cut your nails if the nails are there means in the nails dirt will be there if you eat with that dirt will go inside so you should cut your nails and wash your hand before eating okay children we are done with the stomach let me sum up on the organs now see first we studied its brain brain is there and it is connected to all the parts right it is responding to all the parts of our body so what all things you do it is the message from the brain and the next we studied lungs yes no lungs are there here what lungs will do lungs help us in breathing lungs 
help us in breathing you can see the picture and lungs are connected to nose yes how the stomach is connected to mouth the lungs are connected to nose we are taking the air in from the nose and lungs are connected to nose and the next we studied heart heart is connected to all the body parts why it is pumping the blood and sending all the nutrients to other parts and kidneys yes you can, kidneys are here actually here on this we have rib cage and kidneys are actually here okay and what kidneys will do kidneys will filter the blood and the next one we studied is stomach stomach stores the food and helps in digestion to break in breaking down the food so you got to know about some internal organs yes in the what all work they'll do in study in the higher classes but the organs in the first standard you are knowing only the organs which we can see which uh, which are outside our body yes but now you are studying internal organs those what is the work of that what to do you study it okay yes we are done with the lesson in this lesson we studied like external organs internal organs and some internal organs brain lungs heart kidneys and stomach i hope you all got the working of the internal organs and for you homework is read the lesson our body and try to answer the exercise okay read the lesson twice and mark the hard words i'll be giving hard words also new words also but mark the hard words which you feel difficult you mark the hard words and try to answer the exercises i'll be doing the exercise in the next class so you read the lesson and try to answer the exercise and uh, you keep one 200 pages book for cw and 100 pages book for homework and uh, i'll be giving the homeworks also and i'll be checking it also for sure okay okay stay healthy stay safe